bits of you. Anything really dumb, she is. Jonathan, it's awesome. right of you cackling I'll in the background. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my diamonds are just seeping out of my skirt. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Christine, by the nice way. Nice to meet you too. Um, so I have a few questions. Well, first, how. Professionality. Oh, phone going off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, it's so his bad. first press tour. Don't uh, worry about it. Okay. That's okay. Edit, That's excuse. That we can edit around, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, how are you both, first off? I'm good. Uh, in trouble. Get, you're in, in trouble. trouble? Yeah, I see. Through Indeed your phone. In trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, feeling good. Yeah, good. Sun shining. Yeah, now that's been a couple of days. It's been raining here. I don't know if you've been here, but it's yeah. been really rainy. I haven't. I was in New York and it was kind of freezing cold in New York. Oh, it's really? Been properly raining. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's been kind of nice. I think it's necessary. Like it is it. necessary. Yeah, it needs to rain a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, um, cool. So. So just a little bit about you guys. Uh, how did you first hear about the movie? What drew you, you know, to the role and to the story? Um, I went for a meeting at Sony, and um, I, I uh, got told about the project then, and I already knew about the book, and so I read the book and fell in love with it. And then I read the script, and then we hired our director, and then we hired Alex, and Nick, and Micah, and um, what really drew me to the character was the naturalistic setting that, that the whole movie takes place in. I mean, everything is, 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 you know, real world issues, you know, it's things that we deal with every day, and they use, you know, kind of humans' greatest vulnerability uh, against each other. Right, awesome. You? Yeah. Uh, for me, I was late on in the process, obviously. Um, I, yeah. But not that late. Well, it was the script that I read first, initially, and I think mm -hmm. these, like, the four, the four waves, they're the f initial four waves, they're, like, the, f the fact that they're so kind of relevant to today there's just fears that all of us have you know like I'm, I'm living where we live right now next to a fault line right tsunami earth, earthquakes could happen any time you know and like the things that are going on in the world right now like the idea of a, an airborne virus coming in that can mm -hmm. wipe out 97 percent of the population is pretty wild right and realistic yeah um so yeah, so I think things like that just made it kind of jump out to me, and then the fact that there's it kind of then centers in on this kind of story of a lot of heart that kind of um, yeah that is ultimately just one girl who's a regular girl trying to save her brother's life. Mm -hmm. Right, awesome. Long-winded, but uh, no, no, we got very, very well got said, there. really well yeah. put. You know, we went down the long part. We meandered, yeah. we meandered, but. Uh, we were there. No, it's okay. More the better. So, Chloe, did you read the book before mm -hmm. you read the script? And what? Like, how do you think fans who are fans of the book will react to the to the adaptation? Um, I I think as a fan of the book, um, I I think it is actually pretty on point. And I'm not just saying that because I made the movie, but I think it really it really genuinely is very close to the book, especially the voice of Cassie. I think I think that Jay and Rick and some of the writers on the on the on the script. I think they did a really good job at creating Cassie's voice that Rick creates in the book in real life. And obviously I think that was part of Jay and I just powwowing together and making sure that it was exactly the way we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah, and the twists, yeah. the twists that are in the book, um, yeah. I think it's really important to make those hit the same way that the that they did in the book. Like when those twists mm -hmm. come in, you're like, hold on, let me just reread that. The same right. Way. So, uh, yeah, and I feel like after watching it, I think they're really powerful, which is great. Awesome. Did you get to uh, talk to Rick at all about like, your characters? Or was he on set a lot? Yeah. He a few times, yeah. 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 He's great. Um, he was very, like, just, enthusiastic. I think it was just for him, it's like this thing that he's so had real. in his head. Mm -hmm. Right. And that he wrote down on a page, all of a sudden he's got, like, two people acting out his, his movie, you know? Right. Being shocking uh, and exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he seemed really, he just seemed really happy. Whenever we came over, like after a scene, he seemed really happy, which is which is good. That's what you want. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, what are your favorite qualities of your characters? Um, <laughs> general badassery. I just think he's like, yeah. you know, I mean, I think he's like. He's just like a, a general stud. He's a bit of a stud, you know? like, no. I think I, I love his wood chopping skills. I love the way he chops wood. I think, you know. The way he disarms it like this. He, he baths pretty well. You know? <laughs> um, I think for me, it's like uh, he's. He's very, in the lake, he's very measured. <laughs> and I think. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trying to be serious now. <laughs> Shwitty, I'm trying to be serious. Shwitty, go, 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 go. Shwitty, shwitty. Um, yeah, he's very measured. 
Um, I think I'm way less measured than he is, um, and I, 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 I respect that a lot. What about you? Um, yeah, I mean, I think for Cassie, I really, I really kind of, I am inspired by her courage and her kind of, um, her thought processes. I think that she kind of always takes the more calm approach to many situations when a lot of people would kind of break down and, and turn around and never kind of follow through with what they're talking about. So I think she's very strong-willed mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, she's a great character. Cool. So if you could play any other role in the film, regardless of gender, who would you play? Sam. Um, Sam? <laughs> Sam. Why is that? He's, he's got one of the best characters in the whole movie. He's a good character. Yeah, he's good. He's going through a lot. Got a lot, got a lot to do with. How about you? Um, obviously, I'd want to play Evan Walker now. Um, oh, you, you know I like a little bit of me lit up inside there. The, I'm oh, sorry. Man. <laughs> Probably Maria Bella's character. Yeah, I think cool. she's got a, a really great character arc. And Evan Walker is pretty cool too. <laughs> and I probably wouldn't mind doing that because there's a lot of twists and turns. Mm -hmm. And there's so much dynamicy to show. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> oh. <welcome. laughs> I know. I know you wanted that. I know. <laughs> So next, there's a, a lot of action sequences in the film. Um, so did you have to undergo any training before filming? Yes, I did. I had to, I had to uh, train how to mm -hmm. fight, how to be a lethal mm. killing machine. Um, <laughs> weapons and, uh, and disarming and, mm -hmm. you know, you know. Yeah. The cool stuff. <laughs> the cool stuff that looks really cool, but there was often moments that were, <laughs> we're cool. not cool. Well, no. Most moments were not cool. I don't remember no. them. Okay. I personally don't remember them, but Chloe has has of this <laughs> great, of knowledge. This uh, really okay. recollection of these <clears throat> things. Yeah, every time you fell. <laughs> Yeah. Did you fall a lot? I don't remember. I really don't remember it. I just, I just don't remember. I, yeah. I, I like the. I, I Is it just blank? It's a blank space. Have a brief flashback <laughs> to flying through the air after tripping up on a trip wire mm. and like being in the air for five seconds. But that could have been a dream. That was not a dream. <laughs> you did, in fact, practically fly. I, I, you practically flew. <laughs> so. I'm He's not yeah. quite as coordinated. I'm the first, yeah. I'm the first, oh, I'm God. first man to fly. <laughs> no. so take that. Take that, Armstrong. That. <laughs> it's okay, they just cut those scenes out of you falling. Yeah, exactly. Um, it it gone. Yeah. Clumsy, so, and what? <laughs> so if there was a real alien invasion, do you think you would hide? Do you think you would last? If not, which wave do you think... Would, uh, would take, would take, take you take out. out. I get sick really easily, so I do oh. think the avian flu would, would be the one for me. You do me. get, yeah, 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 I get yeah. ill mm. really fast, so that would probably be the one that would take me down, but I think I could probably survive the tsunami. I could probably survive the EMP for sure. Um, even the snipers I could survive. It'd just be that little middle part. Mm. Yeah, you just have to, like, lock yourself in a bunker somewhere. I'd have to so go, I would, like, literally go in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But the problem is there's birds flying around, so even if like, right. yeah, but then the birds poop on the ground, and the, <laughs> and the poop seeps yeah, into the, the water supply. <laughs> this is why it's such a, this it's, is why it's such a scary, <laughs> scary deal. Yeah, the, it, it, like, that's it is. the scariest wave yeah. out of all of them. I definitely I think like, so. It's so uncontrollable. It's the scariest wave. Because how, how outnumbered are we to birds? I think like, it's like for every one one human, human it's like... 700 like, or something? Like yeah, it's about like 7,000 birds. There's a seven in there, isn't there? Yeah. I remember from the eight, from the, uh, from the voiceover <laughs> I did the movie. <laughs> so the seven, or maybe even 70,000. I think it's 70,000. It's something wild. A lot of birds. It's literally yeah. like, it's... And if they, all, if they all have, yeah, if they all <laughs> oh, have some, us. something that could kill us, I like. <laughs> Swine flu was just in pigs. Don't yeah, thank God true. there's not 70,000 pigs in the Roger. I've just imagined so I know. many pigs. I yeah, it's all over just the place. So many pigs yeah. all over the street. <laughs> yeah. So, are there any, like, besides you falling, any behind the scenes anecdotes or anyone being a really big prankster, anything like that? I think Sam was someone that was always laughing, Zachary Arthur. I feel like mm -hmm. in every scene, there was a moment where he would giggle. Like, there's one scene where we had to kiss in front of him, <laughs> and he literally, every time after I had to kiss him, I turned back around and see Zachary, he'd be like, 
Because yeah. <laughs> he thought I was like, oh my god, Chloe yeah. and Alex just yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> and it was really funny and then, and for him. Yeah, there's a, there's a moment where I kind of like burst yeah. through the ceiling He's and like, like land. <laughs> He was just like, whoa, I don't want to do that. And then yeah. occasionally he would just like look at the camera. Yeah, yeah. occasionally he's like, <laughs> yeah. And look away and then. Oh, he's a dude. He's, he's a nice. little man. He's a little dude. Good at soccer too. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, last good. question, really quick. Um, so, what do you hope fans take away from the film after seeing it? Um, I think uh, the f familial love. Familiar love. Familiar. Mm -hmm. I hope they like kind of come out of there and and, and cool. Their, well, they'll probably be with their parents, maybe some of them. Some of them for sure will be with their um, mom and dad or, mm -hmm. or their friends. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it makes them think that some of the issues in their life could don't really mean work. quite as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 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 I mean, I think I think that I I hope that people kind of leave it. In a way, I kind of hope people get the, the social aspect of it and that they need to kind of take care of the world a little bit better than we do. Yeah, um, so I kind of hope it's it's slightly environmentally, like, you know, uh, intriguing mm -hmm. and yeah. thought-provoking. Um, yeah, that's that just, cool. you know, I hope. Yeah. It's a cool thing to think about, actually. Like, what that I could uh, maybe impact it. people in a certain way. Yeah. Other than just enjoying a, you know, cinematic experience. Mm -hmm. Which I hope they do that, too. Yeah. Yes, both. That comes first. <laughs> first and foremost, I hope you totally love us. <laughs> hope you dig our job. First have fun. <laughs> yeah. First have fun. Then yeah. Have something. yeah, man, like, for sure. Yeah. But like, first of all, how cool are we? <laughs> anyway. Awesome. Speak to yourself. Well, thank you guys for talking to me. It was really nice of meeting course. you both. Nice meeting you. Thanks for helping me with my camera because yeah, I'm sure. Let's just make sure that I did record. I think so. Oh, <laughs> you can. Here you go.